Now let's consider another problem dealing with properties. What is the identity element for the mathematical system? Here we're going to have elements of x, y, and z put together with our operation. We're looking for an identity element, which means we need to start with each individual element, combine it with the identity, and come up with the element being the result. So we're going to need to look for x combined with the identity to be x, y combined with the identity to be y, and z combined with the identity to be z. Well, let's start with x. If we combine x with itself, we come up with x. When do we get the result of y in the row where we see starting with y, we come up with y composed with x to give us y. And z composed with x gives us z. So we notice also if we look at this first column of results, that it repeats the, la the column which is to the left. If we look at our first row of results, we see that it repeats the row that's at the top. And both of those lead us to the element x. So our identity element for this mathematical system is going to equal x.